What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Strike Up Beer. Quick beer reviews with your pals, Alan Rapid Dave. I'm Rapid Dave. I'm Alan. What's up, buddy? No, just living the dream. Oh, you brought this uh, beautiful looking beer. The, the can art's phenomenal. This is Turning Point Beer Fist Bumps, a sour ale with orange, tangerine, and lemonade. It's Brewer Blood. A Brewer Blood. Yeah. Uh, so this is a sour ale with orange, tangerine, and lemonade. Tangy without being overly tart and jam-packed with enough fruit and lemonade to put you in an early grave. Uh, 6.5% alcohol by volume, average score of 3.95 out of 5 out of 31 ratings. I got nosy neighbors. And this is a beer they just released this last uh, Friday. Oh, nice. So, well, you know what I got to do here? I gotta... Doing a little Goosebumps inspired beer yeah. uh, they got going on here. The, the can art is, this is probably their best can art they've ever had. You think so? It's phenomenal. It's, it's really cool. Um, you want to see a picture? Follow us on Instagram. We'll be there tomorrow. Maybe never. I don't know. But yeah, the can art is cool. I do like it. Now the blood on here is gold. Right. Um, then you think of blood as uh, being red, yeah. and then now we have a, a, green, a green beer. Yeah. It's that nice booger green everybody's looking for. Mazel, mazel, good things. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, that's interesting. That's pretty sour. It's cleansing the palate. I had nothing but hot fries and uh, candy all day today. Well, then I just had some pork chops and rice and beans. Yeah. Um, interesting. Hmm. It is interesting. One, the color is crazy looking. The color is throwing me off because you're orange, tangerine, and lemonade. Yeah, and then you get a green beer. And then you get a green beer. Mm -hmm. Like... You said there was four different kinds of these? There's four different ones, yeah. We got all four of them. So, um, uh, Turning Point, they're out of Bedford? Bedford, they're Texas. They're Bedford, Texas? Okay. Texas. I like their brewery. They got their, the brewery's huge, beautiful tap room. They actually can do, like, private parties and stuff like that, too, because uh, that's in the next room, I think. Yeah, if the, the, the old tap room. Yeah. Um, they got a ton of beers on tap. You'd be Always got pressed. food trucks there. Do they? Oh, I have yeah. never seen a food oh. truck because, like, I think when I go, it's kind of later. You know what? They were out there. They, uh, I saw one last time, I think. It was, it was like taco truck or something like that. There's, I've had so many wild dogs just kind of roaming around today. Yeah, um, We are in the ghetto. I'm telling you. Like, today I picked up a, a steak because uh, I was undoing all my stuff or whatever. Oh, that must be her. So, all right, she's, like, walking. The dog's walking her at this point. Yeah. I told Todd to keep, I go, keep your eye on a swivel. There's a couple dogs loose around here. And I go, and just in case. <laughs> It's good. I'll tell you what. Like, the first drink kind of shocked me a little bit. Shocked you? But after that, it's pretty damn good. Like, I, I wasn't necessarily expecting the, the taste that I got. Yeah. The flavor profile that I got. But all in all, uh, that's pretty damn good. So I read this as a sour ale, and you said it was a beer liner? Yeah. Okay, so. It's a sour-fruited beer liner Weiss. Okay. And it, like I say, uh, those Weiss beers, they're they're generally on the sour side, yep. um, but almost like refreshing sour, not like over the top, like no, 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 like no. super sour. Not, not pucker, like that. You're right? Yeah, yeah. So um, I think it. Uh, well, I, I am enjoying it though. I am enjoying it. It is pretty tasty. I'm not gonna lie. It just in, I cannot. It's, it's tell interesting a lie. looking. It's interesting to look at. It's good to drink. I love the can art, though. I would have bought it. Like, this stuff would jump off the shelf. Did you actually go to the brewery to pick it yeah, up? Yeah. Okay. Was uh -huh. this a taproom exclusive? I think so. Yeah. Okay. And there was, like you said, there was four different ones. Um, we'll probably get to one or two tonight and then do the rest uh, the following week or something like that. But, yeah, I mean, I like their beers. And, like I said, they, you know, the tap room, the, the list, or the amount of beers that they have there it's is insane. Out. It's it, a ton. It crawls all the way up the wall. Yep. Right. So, and it's like four or five wide, plenty of beers, plenty of options to choose I from. I think it's usually somewhere between, or close to like 30 beers on tap or something oh, like that. Unbelievable. Like it's a. I'm just a Pilsner Kolsch guy. So, as long as the Pils is on the, out there, I'm fine. It's always a good place to get a Pilsner. Yeah. They got They're loggers, place. though. They have the uh, loggers some are good, good loggers as well. Yep. yep. Well, I guess let's finish uh, this But yeah, on. finish her up. Cheers, Mazel Mazel. Good sitting, things. Sitting around, dragging my feet. Mm -hmm. all in all pretty damn good like after that first get past that first drink yeah because it doesn't taste like it looks or anything like that it just kind of throws you off um and then once you get that second drink in you're like okay it's a lot smoother on the second drink on yeah again uh 6.5 sure. percent alcohol by volume this is turning point beer out of bedford texas you can find them on facebook and instagram uh facebook is at tp beers instagram turning point beer TurningPointBeer.com. There we go. Yeah, but go and get you some now. And I think they have some posters of these, uh, of all those labels. Oh as well, yeah, too. I saw some posters hanging up there. So That'd be cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Check it out. As always, I'm Alan. Rabbit Dave. Talk to you later. Deuces.